What up guys, it's Fair Relations here. Um, I've done Jordan videos in the past, but now I plan on constantly be doing Jordan reviews for you guys on Jordans that I pick up, as well as uh, Jordans that I've already had in my collection. So this first video is a pickup video, and this is my first uh, Jordan video. So thanks for watching, and uh, let's get into it. I'd like to first start with this shoe. Uh, recently I was at Shoe Wolf's Den, and I showed you guys the Laker Sixes a little bit early. I was in Vegas this past week and I was able to get them at Nike Town Vegas. They had both the kid size and the adult size 7. I went ahead and went with the adult size 7 because on the kid size, right here um, on the 6s it has little, like I guess you could say little poof parts that puff out on the side or whatever. On the kid size, it's just suede, it's not that 3M and it doesn't puff out at all. It's not too big of a difference, but it was a difference, and I decided to go with the adult size because it's actually pretty hard to find adult size 7 anywhere. So um, the fact that I had the option to choose, uh, I went ahead and went with the adult size. These are actually already pretty dirty. Um, I wore them to a club one night, so yeah, definitely need to clean them up. But um, if you want a better review on these shoes, definitely check out the video I already posted from Shoe Wolf's Den. Next, I'll get into another one of the newer releases. Um, this is, what, like a, a good week, week and a half old by now. The Infrared Spizikes. Uh, really dope shoe. I was really looking forward to these as uh, I had sold Shoe Wolf and a few of my other uh, sneaker friends and, and everyone like that. This shoe is really nice to me and um, I think they did a great job on them. So uh, I'll start with the bottom. It's black with that nice icy sole in the middle. Your blue Jordan right there, really nice. Then you got your white with the air bubble. Um, it's actually the infrared color. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. Then you got your infrared that goes all around the bottom. A little bit of white patent leather, which has like a glitter effect to it, or it shines when the light hits it right, so that's pretty nice. Then you got your white elephant print on the toe box and back here on the trimmings. Um, you also have your uh, Mars black pin. Uh, emblem with the other emblem on that side so you know just the usual thing for the Spizike this year they've been adding the lace locks up um, on the bottom Mike and Mars then you got your little infrared um, lace pull tab right there with the white Jumpman you got your blue Jumpman right there black crowns with the black suede all on throughout the upper I should actually say uh, black new buck it's not suede sorry about that then you got your um, black six tongue which is really nice. Blue tabs um, on the back. The inside lining has a whole bunch of you know writing and stuff on that, and it's got your red jump man down there. All around dope Spizike, but I'm a lot more excited to show you this pickup. I got these at Riff LA. Shout outs to Riff LA. Um, they're one of the many stores that you can find on superkicks.com. Also, shout outs to the Soul Purpose and uh, Zig we Weezy. They recently did a video at Riff LA, so shout out to them. This is just that one Jordan that I've been wanting for the longest. Like, um, when I started collecting, it's been high on my list. I've seen them plenty of times used for dead stock for too high of a price, something I wasn't willing to pay. I was actually able to get these uh, VNDS with box for $175. That's box price. So, um, definitely was not disappointed with that. Um, uh, the only thing that is kind of disappointing is it actually didn't have the little lace lock for the Spizikes, or I should say the, the pull tab for the Spizikes. Kind of disappointing, but that's fine. So let's get into it. Um, the bottom, you got your white bottom with your head of green and your red Jordan right there. Black midsole, gets a little bit shinier black um, towards the back. Black air bubble. Um, you got your black Spizike print on the back, green Spizike print on the front red and white right there in the front as well. Um, you have your black nubuck throughout the upper. Um, I'd go ahead and say, yeah, it feels a little bit, I don't want to say cleaner or softer, but more solid um, than the newer one. Um, this is a clear um, side panel, but it yellowed over time, so that's kind of disappointing. You got your red laces, red jump mount on there, uh, black six tongue. You got cool little intricate uh, patterns and details on its inside lining, all that. So uh, all around dope shoe. Um, there's one other Spizike that came out before it, the white, green, and red one. I don't like that Spizike. Another Spizike I don't like is 
the black and gold one. So other than those two, I have all the specifics that have released aside from maybe some of the women's ones. And there are a good amount of the women's ones I do want to get. So, um, yeah, Spizzix are one of my favorite Jordans, and I can now um, say that, you know, I have pretty much all of them. Another one that uh, slipped my mind is the grape ones. I like the colorway, but the white perforations on the leather, you know, I could do without. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to end up still just passing on those. It's disappointing because I like purple on shoes, but I feel like they could have done a lot better job with that shoe. Anyways, guys, I'm going to now show you what these look like on feet. Make sure to keep on checking back for more Jordan videos. I'll be sure showing you I have most of the countdown packs, so I'll be showing you those, as well as like um, all the rest of the Jordans and whatnot. So stay tuned for now. Check out how these look on feet. Here's a look at what I had on feet today. The Zen Gray Yeezys. Uh, really cool looking shoe. Uh, the colors on the inside really make it pop. The glow in the dark is crazy, and you know, it's just a cool shoe. Here's a look at the Laker Sixes on feet. A lot of people were complaining about how the purple, yellow, and white aren't really that noticeable or and whatnot, so it shouldn't be called a Laker shoe. To be honest, you know, black, white, gray shoes, stuff like that, that's more what's in right now. So it's still, they're still able to do a Laker shoe by adding the stitching to make it pop, but yet at the same time you can wear it with pretty much anything because it's basically all, an all black shoe. I really think they did a good job with these shoes and, um, I'm a big fan of the sixes. So there's precious. Here's a look at the infrared physics on the feet. The color placement was done very well. Um, the quality on them could be a little bit better. Then again, these are the kid sizes, so maybe that, that might have something to do with it. Uh, cool shoe for sure. Here's a look at the black, red, and green physics on the feet. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite Spizzix. I'm not exactly sure if it is my favorite. It's the one I've been wanting the most. Um, the only one that really compares up to it is the Fire Red Spizzix. I think between these and those, it's just like uh, the best representation of what the Spizzix is and really dope. Alright guys, um, as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure to check out superkicks.com. They're going to have all these Jordans and pretty much any other Jordans you need. So check them out, and yep, see you guys. Peace.